I think some people are really just addicted to you know what. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about five reasons why people decide to go into the adult film industry. So let's hop right into this. Now, some of you guys may know that this past week I was in Florida and surprisingly, I had decided to go back for another shoot. And I talked about in a previous video how I was done with the industry, I was moving on, and I wasn't going to go any further with it. Now, to my surprise, a studio reached out to me that I had previously worked with and they wanted me to come back and film more scenes. And it had been probably six, six or seven months since I had been back there. And I just figured they were done with me and, you know, it, my time was up. I was really surprised that they wanted me to come back and film more scenes with them after I uploaded that video. So after some negotiation, I decided that it was worth it and I'm glad I did because I was able to actually make really good money and I came into contact with this model who put me on to a bunch of new ideas. Now this guy was really different compared to the other models that I'd worked with in the past. He seemed really intelligent and like he had a good head on his shoulders. Now to my surprise, we instantly were drawn to each other. We had kind of a special connection, not a romantic connection or anything like that, but we kind of were on the same wavelength and just business minded and passionate about what we were doing. So he brought up to me the possibility of an agent and what having an agent could do for me and how far I could go. And he really instilled in me, you know, that I have a lot of potential in the industry and I really wasn't unlocking that potential without the help of an agent. And for so long, I just didn't want to get an agent because I was just not really liking the idea of giving a portion of my money to them and I really just didn't know what they did as a whole. So after some research and learning a little bit more about what it's like to have an agent, so after getting in contact with an agent, I am just so excited for my future in this industry. I see my potential and I see why I haven't unlocked my potential yet. I think with any business, there comes a point where you can't just do everything alone. And it goes for any business, small business, large business, anything. I feel like at some point you have to branch out and try to find partners that can work with you in helping you reach success because, you know, you can't build an empire with a single person. It's just very unlikely. So I have an agent now. I just can't wait for you guys to see where I go in the upcoming months. Now I can't talk much about my time in Florida because I had to sign a non-disclosure agreement and that's never happened before but I'll just say that I had a great time and I'm excited to, to work with other studios as well in the future. I'm really grateful for coming into contact with that model as well because he really gave me a boost of confidence and motivation to go out and get what I want and what I deserve. So let's get into the five reasons why people decide to join the adult film industry. The first reason I'll get into is because they may feel like they are stuck in a situation that they have no other way of getting out of other than doing adult films. And that's actually a personal reason for me. That's the reason I got into the industry. And it turned out to be something so amazing and just so helpful for me on so many different levels. I've mentioned in the past that I was living in a situation with a roommate that just was not ideal. And it was very difficult mentally and physically to live in that environment. So 
after praying, I was blessed with the opportunity to go and work with Broke Straight Boys. And then I was able to make enough money to move out before my lease ended while still paying the remainder of the rent that I owed along with my new rent. And I honestly don't think that would have ever happened any way else. So the first reason is because people are trying to get out of a situation that they feel that they need to get out of. So another reason some people might decide to go into the adult film industry is just purely out of curiosity. You know, some people just want to know how it works and what goes into it and how much money you make. And I've worked with multiple different types of guys that would fall under this umbrella, especially for broke straight boys. A lot of the straight guys, the real straight guys, they just see it as an easy money-making opportunity. They don't really have any plans to take it further, they just kind of want to experience it and see how it goes. I think as humans we're naturally curious, some more than others, and you know, curiosity, they say curiosity killed the cat, but I think it's also good to be curious and to experience things instead of letting fear or shame get in the way. Okay, so let's get into the third reason of why some people might decide to join the adult film industry. Some people are just looking for a side job. And the good thing with this industry is that it's really workable, the schedule is. It's not like very unpredictable. You usually know a month ahead of time when you're going out of state for a shoot and how long it's gonna be. So that gives you enough time to call out of work for your regular job and ensure that you have the time to go and make some extra money. So that's another thing that I've seen working at Broke Straight Boys is that a lot of the guys have regular jobs, like normal nine to five jobs, and they just kind of do this on the side just to supplement their income. So yes, yeah, some guys really enjoy going to shoots out of state for a side job. It's a really cool side job if you think about it, especially if you enjoy traveling and you're not really the type of person that likes to stay at home all the time. So let's get on to the fourth reason of why some people may decide to join the adult film industry. Some people really just want to try to become famous, and I know it sounds crazy, but I've met like two guys in the past that honestly think they're going to be the next Kim Kardashian or Paris Hilton. And as much that I think that's possible, I just think times are different now, and it's especially different for girls when it comes to using that as a way to become famous. So I think... I think that it's possible, but I think it's also unrealistic at the same time to go into this industry solely because you think you're going to become famous and rich and just kind of skyrocket yourself into the ether. <laughs> so yeah, some guys definitely try to use this as a way to become famous and, you know, it's cool. It's, it's a cool idea, but... I, I just think it it's smarter to use this as a side job because you can't overwork your... I mean, you can, but just the thought of overworking yourself and going on, like, three different shoots a month, that just sounds so unhealthy for, like, your spirit and, like, your body and just so exhausting. Some models do that, though. Some models like to go on tours where... where they'll just be consistently on different shoots for like two months straight and then they'll take a break for a month. But everybody just has their different, you know, style of working and I guess you just have to figure out which one's best for you. So let's get to the fifth reason of why some people may decide to join this industry. I think some people are really just addicted to you know what some people just think about it all the time can't get it off of their mind and they just are really legitimately addicted to it and of course this industry would be the perfect job for those types of people especially if you're 
you know, restless and you can actually work for a month straight on multiple different shoots. There are guys like that. I've met them, but not every model entertainer in this industry is on the same mindset. Every guy and girl has a different way of how they work and what's productive for them. So for me personally, a shoot once a month would be ideal because that would give me plenty of time to get my YouTube, my OnlyFans, and just grow my other businesses at home while still giving me that supplemental income once a month and giving me exposure. So that's what I'm working on right now is trying to get consistent shoots once a month. And I definitely see it happening. Like, I already marked one shoot down this month, so... And I already have one next month, hopefully. I'm crossing my fingers. But I will let you guys know about that. But yeah, those are five reasons of why some people may decide to join the adult film industry. Let me know what you guys thought about some of those reasons. Um, real quick before I end this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about my Patreon. Now, I used to do Patreon way back in like 2018 when I first started putting out YouTube videos and it was actually going pretty well for a while. I had I think 10 patrons at one point and if you guys don't know about Patreon, it's a subscription blog type of website and you you don't have to pay a set amount of money at all to be a member, but there's different tiers and you get more content for each tier that you pay for. So say if I have a $5 tier and you get this and this, then you get that and that, access to all of those posts. But if you pay for the $10 tier, these are just examples, then you get more content that you wouldn't get if you were just paying for the $5 tier. So it's pretty cool, and I'm actually getting right back into it. And I will be doing uh, painting videos, and I'm also going to be doing journal entries, which is something that I started doing when I started doing Patreon. And when I say journal entries, I just mean once a week at least. I will be posting at least once a week on Patreon, just so you guys know. But for the journal entries, I'll be talking about intimate things, happenings, situations in my life, and just kind of getting my thoughts out and trying to basically do the same thing that I do on here, but on a more intimate level. You guys should definitely check out my Patreon if you want to know more about me and just connect with me on a deeper level. Other than that, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Of course, let me know what you thought about it, and I will see you on Thursday. Bye, guys.